All right, so... Welcome to another episode of the cabin build series. In this week's video, we complete the cabin's kitchen and reveal its final design. We also started working on the landscape on the other side of the front garden, where we plan on expanding our vegetable and ornamental garden by twice its size. Enjoy this one. I'm Eugenia, and this is Pepe, Aspen, and Lolita. We are an architect and a designer that moved to the countryside to self-build our new home. After traveling for a year in our self-converted camper van, we decided to settle in. Looking to live a simpler life, grow our own organic food, and build our house, let us hear. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. We're back at the building site which is looking more than a house now and um, I already took dimensions for the drawers so here we are I already have all the dimensions um, of the drawers that I'm gonna need to be cutting this is the drawer slide that we're gonna be using it is 50 centimeters deep so the drawer itself is gonna be 55 and uh, 55 centimeters is gonna be deeper in the cabinet so when you extend it sorry it's a little way later on so when you extend it you have 50 centimeters here and the drawer is going to be 55. So we're dividing this same now we did in the van because we, we like that uh, layout very much. It's going to be divided by basically in a, a smaller drawer for forks and knives and utensils like that. And then two bigger drawers which are 20 centimeters each. What it is, the, the drawer itself is 20 centimeters and then the cover of the drawer is 33. So this is going to be 15 with a drawer of 10 and then 33, 33 with a drawer of 20 and 20. And this is gonna be probably for food, same that we have in the van, uh, which holds a lot of weight. They can hold up to 45 kilograms, so we can have a lot of food there. And uh, in the bottom one, we're gonna have pans and pots, and utensils for, for cooking. So yeah, I already took some dimensions. And um, for example, something that you need to, to count on if, um, if you are gonna be installing this is um, this kind of drawers. You can actually take out this piece. And this is the part that goes in the actual drawer. And this is the part that you screw here so you put this one here and then you put that in the drawer and you don't need to be doing crazy things to, to install this this dimension is 52.6 and uh, we need to take off the thickness of both the sliders so this is 12 and 12 so we're taking 2.4 yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I just came back from filling the compressor because I'm going to be using the nail gun to make the drawers and um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set um, the base of the drawer and then put the side with glue, nail them down 
and then put the fronts and do the same. So at the end it's going to be all holded by glue and nails. All three of the drawers are done and now what I'm gonna do is um, install this this side on the sides of the of the drawer. I'm gonna be installing this perfectly parallel to the bottom of the drawer and one centimeter away from it on all of them. Okay, so I already installed the first drawer. There is not much to show, but basically what I do, I have the line here marked or where the bottom of the, of the drawer is going to be, and here. Okay, so we know uh, this line is the bottom of the drawer, and we know from the bottom of the drawer to the middle of the drawer slide, there are 3.2 millimeters. So I just draw a line at 3.2 millimeters and then with the square I made a, a perfectly perpendicular line all the way in and the same I do this here I put 3.2 and then put the perpendicular line all the way through it's just a matter of a screw the other part of the of the hinge basically I draw that line and then through these little holes I can uh, the line has to be perfectly centered all the way through to the back and um, here in the front uh, you need to find these holes to be able to put a screw through so you just slide this and I start seeing the screws. At the moment I'm gonna just put a couple to make sure everything slides properly and once uh, everything is set then I will go ahead and put a bunch of screws. Good morning guys, I had an early morning today and I already installed uh, the drawer slides on, on this last drawer and here in the cabinet. So I just need to put it in to see if it works.
very happy with the results. Now I just need to cut the, the faces for them, which is going to be very easy to do. And I'm going to start from the one above and go downward. I screw it to this side of the drawer and uh, take everything out, including the, the doors, and paint them black. Okay, now that everything is working properly, we need to make the drawer faces. So basically uh, what I'm gonna do, I know where the top drawer is going to go. So it's like three millimeters uh, below the countertop, which is the same distance that we're gonna leave in the doors. And then I know that I want to leave the drawer face sticking out one centimeter from below the, the drawer. That way, when I pull this out, there is no way that this face is gonna be touching the bottom of the drawer. I'm not expert on cabinet making. This is the second set of drawers I ever I ever done. The first one were in the van. But in the van we didn't do that. And then with the weight, when, uh, when we loaded the drawers, it started touching. So in order to avoid that, uh, we're just gonna leave, as I said, one centimeter here. So the next one is gonna be one centimeter and three millimeters below the bottom of the upper drawer. I know this is three millimeters from above. This is 15 plus one centimeter that I want to go down. It will be 16 centimeters. And now I made a mark here where this goes, and I go the same. I know here is 29.7 plus one centimeter, 30.7 minus two millimeters that I want to leave the gap between this face and that face, then it's 30.5, and we do the same with the bottom. For the doors of these drawers, we're gonna be reusing the wood that um, we made the mistake. Yesterday night I got extra motivated and I started using this fork. I did all this trench mostly. It was really really hard but as you can see now I'm able to introduce the entire tool. So the original idea with this part it, it was to build a greenhouse but because we don't think that it's happening, we decided to extend the gardening area. Plant here some bigger plants like watermelons, uh, squash, this type of plants that will need more space to grow. Because here is where we had the bump during the winter. The soil has gotten quite compacted. What I'm gonna do first is remove all the gravel. Because as you can see, right now there is no way to introduce this. And then after that I'm going to use this tool to try breaking a little bit before I use the fork.
If you like this cabin and are planning on building something similar, remember that we have the architectural and structural kits available on our website. With all the plans, details and material info you could ever need to build this same cabin, including the 3D model. Link in the description below. Alright, so everything is, is done pretty much. It looks pretty good. Uh, we need to do minor adjustments like this door for example. It needs to go that way like one millimeter so it doesn't doesn't touch. This drawer has to go in this side a little bit further in, which I will need to adjust. This this side is all perfect. And in this side we need to put this drawer a couple of mils in. This one probably a mil and a half. And then this door has to go has to shift a little bit that way. So this co this corner has to go down and that one stays. And uh, this is the opposite. This one needs to go a little bit up. Actually not, actually that, that looks good. Maybe move the, the door a little bit to the right so it doesn't touch. And uh, I'm gonna try to adjust that with the adjustments that um, the hardware has. And if it doesn't work, then I will I will pull this out and, and trim it a little bit. So now I'm gonna mark all the adjustments that I need. In this case, for example, this drawer, I uh, will need to trim a little bit top part so it doesn't touches a little bit with the bottom of this. So before painting it, I'm gonna just trim this part one mil, and then here I'm gonna make sure that this line and that line are connected on the bottom. So I just mark there and here where it connects with the bottom of the side door. That way we have a straight line. Um, this door, for example, after adjusting it uh, with the hinges, it still needs to go a little bit down. So I just mark this point there, that point there. I'm gonna make a straight line. And uh, this one is beautiful. This one doesn't need to do anything. The last thing will be this drawer. This drawer slide needs to go a little bit further in. You see, it's sticking out further than the others. Today I'm going to transplant some of the seeds that I have been germinating for a few days. Corn seeds, sunflowers, this is how it's looking. Now we will cover everything with a light layer of soil.
After a couple of weeks working on the kitchen, we were able to finally start varnishing it. We ended up giving two coats of black paint and two coats of clear semi-gloss varnish. Same kind of finish that we gave to the kitchen in our camper van, that proved to be extremely durable and sturdy while living in it. We think that painting it black paid off in the end, and are very pleased with how it came out. The kitchen looks modern and well finished, even though the actual material cost was very low. Adding the final touches with the brass and black pools was the sherry on top. Here, Eugenia continued working the ground. For a moment, I thought she was wasting her time. The soil was so compacted and hard that I did not think it was possible to do it by hand. But she kept going, and after a few hours, the soil was like you see it here. After that, we mixed it with compost and coconut peat to give it nutrients and keep the airy texture. We also covered it with cardboard to keep it humid and nice until we could find the time to start planting again. Hello guys, we have spent a couple of days doing different projects, so no much, no much progress here. Uh, we already painted all the cabinets and the drawers, they are drying on the sand. It has already two coats of, um, of varnish and um, they are ready to, to be installed. Now I'm cutting the toe kick for the kitchen. We will just need to paint the toe kick, varnish it. So there's a long piece that goes from here to the oven and another piece that goes from here to the wall. And this is already also varnished on this side. So it's basically all done, just finishing touches like the toe kick and installing the drawers. <laughs> 